Hello and welcome back. While designing a voice interface for your app, you may face different challenges. And one of them – how to perform actions without a voice command given by the user. Say, in our recipe app, users can view their recipe ingredients. What if you want to introduce a new feature and allow them to add the ingredients they are missing to the shopping cart, just like many other recipe apps do? For that, once the user taps the View Ingredients button, we would need to send the ingredients list to the voice script, save it and then add a voice command to let the user add any ingredients to the cart. To meet this challenge, let's take a look at Alan's Project API functionality. Project API allows you to send any data and perform different actions without voice commands. That's exactly what we need here. Let's see how it works. First, we need to add a new Project API method to our voice script. You can define any logic in your method. In our case, it will first simply get the ingredients list from the app. So we'll type project API, define the method name, get ingredients list, and specify the parameters taken by the method. P allows object to access its predefined functions, params or the data received from the app. With it, we will get our ingredients list and a callback function to be invoked. When this method is called, we will write the ingredients list to logs. The method is defined, let's switch to the app to call it. First, we will take a look at our data arrays. Let's assume here that we have a list of ingredients for every recipe item object in our app. So, to call our method and get this list, we will copy the code for call project API from Alan Studio and paste it to the recipe screen component. We will update it, rename our function, call the get ingredients list project API method we have in the script and pass the ingredients list with it. And of course, we need to call this function when the view ingredients button is tapped. Everything is set up, let's try it now. We can see the ingredients in Alan Studio logs, so let's use them in our dialog. We need to add a new intent allowing our users to add any past ingredient to the shopping list. First, when our user starts the dialog, we will create an empty shopping list. For that, we will use Alan's own create user callback. Second, we need to save the list we get from the app to Alan's P user data object. This object persists for the whole dialog session with the user and the data you store in it can be passed between intent calls. And finally, let's add a new intent to add an ingredient to the shopping list. To pick out the ingredient name from the user's phrase, we will use a slot. You may remember using a slot in the navigation video in this series. But instead of a regular slot with a static list of values used before, we will use a dynamic slot. Dynamic slot values can be updated at any moment of the dialog session. And this is what we need, because our ingredients list will be updated every time the user taps the View Ingredients button in the app. We will push the picked out value to the shopping list and play the confirmation back to the user. Let's also play the number of ingredients needed for the recipe once the View Ingredients button is tapped and list them with voice. We will update our method in the script and our Send Ingredients function in the app to activate the Alan button programmatically on tapping View Ingredients. Let's try it. You need 11 ingredients for this recipe. Lime, chili powder, oil, paprika, ground cumin, cayenne pepper, black pepper, flaky white fish, large tortillas, kosher salt, avocado. Add lime to the shopping list. The lime is in the cart. You need three ingredients for this recipe. Banana. Frozen strawberries. Greek yogurt. 
Add banana to the shopping list. The banana is in the cart. Project API use cases are numerous. Hope it was helpful. Stay with us and comment on what you would like to see next.